Mastering Polite Silence The Power of Keep Quiet Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're unpacking a common, yet powerful phrase, keep quiet. It's a phrase you've likely heard or needed to use at some point. Whether in a library, a classroom, or during an important event, understanding this phrase's use is key to mastering polite communication. So, let's get started and explore the nuances together. Keep quiet is a phrase used to ask someone to stop talking or to make no noise. It's made up of two words that are simple but powerful when combined. Keep means to continue or preserve a certain state. Quiet means the absence of noise or speaking. When we say, keep quiet, we're asking someone to maintain a state of silence. It's important to note that this can be a polite request or a stern command, depending on your tone of voice and the situation. This phrase is versatile and can be used in various contexts. In a library, where silence is required for concentration. In a cinema, when the movie is about to start. When someone is trying to focus and needs a noise-free environment. During a moment of remembrance or respect for others. Remember, context is crucial. Keep quiet. In a fun, casual setting might come off as too strict or harsh. So be mindful of when and how you use it. Sometimes, you might want to convey the same message but in a different way. Here are some alternatives. Please be silent. This is more formal and polite. Could you lower your voice? A gentler request. Let's have a moment of silence. Often used during solemn occasions. Shush or hush are more informal and often used with children or in a playful manner. Nonverbal cues often accompany the phrase, keep quiet, a finger placed to the lips, a gentle shushing sound, a quieting hand gesture. Body language can help convey your request in a non-confrontational way, which is especially useful when you're aiming to be discreet. And that's a wrap on the phrase, keep quiet. Remember, it's more than just about not speaking. It's about understanding the appropriate times to use it and the way you deliver it. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use keep quiet effectively and politely. If you found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more insightful English language tips. Until next time, keep practicing, and thanks for watching.